Hi guys, Rory Stewart and Alistair Campbell sat down with Brexiteer David Davis to talk about trade. When it comes to people like Davis, you have to ask the question, is he stupid or just pretending? So they spoke about trade, tariffs and barriers. And the focus, for some reason, was the US, China and even Taiwan. I really don't understand the value of speaking to people like David Davis on pretty much any subject, as he seems to make up for his lack of knowledge with confidence. Have a listen to this. I think your biggest mistake was you bet on a world of free trade at a moment when the world was becoming protectionist. You launched this in 2016, and it was all about big markets in China, US, India, Europe's not growing quickly, these other places are growing quickly. And you entered a world in which Trump was throwing up tariff barriers. The US have now got 110% tariffs on Chinese vehicles. Trump is going to come in if he comes in in November with 60% tariffs on China, 10% tariffs on the rest of the world. We're in a world where Modi, Xi Jinping, all these major economies are not the dream of the 80s and early 90s of free trade. It's a protectionist world. And we're, well, we're in a very exposed the position. Hard, the, hard, the hard truth, Rory, is none of it's as bad as it was before 95, firstly. I mean, you go, go back. But it's and, reversing go, dramatically. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Go back and look, right? There is a different issue. Uh, which, I, which I think you've got a point on, uh, but it's, 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 it's over and above Brexit, right? Um, but the, in terms of free trade, still the Pacific is, is going to be a faster growing entity than Europe will ever be, ever again well, well, in that, our lifetime. But I'm not saying it's not growing fast. What I'm saying is that unfortunately well, we've what entered, we've, no, what matters to us is, is yes, growth, Right. But so, also the so question, why, the so why, question so of how much, how much, as high as they've ever been, how, much, they've ever been? How, how much of this can we access? And it's not just protectionism. Yeah. It's also that international security is changing. There are other reasons why opening up to yeah, China Europe, doesn't, Europe, doesn't, Europe doesn't look as smart that, as it did in 2016. Menace, uh, you, listen, on international security, I'm afraid Europe trying to interpose itself as a sort of second NATO is a bad idea, an absolutely bad idea. Uh, and and it's in its day. Well, it's not a bad idea if Trump comes back and JD Vance. No, comes NATO back. itself is a better entity for that. I'm afraid. Mm. Uh, you know, but, it but, really but the, is. The point I'm making is that we're decoupling, yeah, de-risking but, but, from places but, like but China so, because of international so, security. But, well, no, we we are. Well, 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 well we that, should be. Shouldn't well, we? No, so you're 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 replacing wish with uh, with actuality with wish. Look, well, the whole world is decoupling. Where are you going to de from you, China? Really? How, how are they decoupling? How are they decoupling? Look, I just told you. Uh, look, well, the I'm United just, States is about, about to put sixty percent tariffs are they, in place are they, against how are they China. Decoupl- how are they decoupling? Um, do, 60%, you a, do you have a computer? Sixty percent tariffs computer? against China. Do you have a computer? Yes, I have a computer. Yeah, yeah. right. The env- the graphics chips in it will come from Taiwan. There is nowhere else in the world they come from. Sure. So you're not decoupling that. You're not decoupling your electronics uh, at all. N- n- nobody's uh, putting tariff barriers against Taiwan. They're putting tariff barriers against no, China. But, but that's that's where it comes from. That's the, most of our trade is with Taiwan. That's the first thing to know about this. Secondly, of course, there is an issue there in terms of dealing with free trade in a security challenge world that is an absolute truth and no one would go around and it's not but one that you, you talked think, about in think, 2016 think is being it? inside the european union with our hands fettered is a better way of dealing with that i'd, I'd like to take you back to the 90s when i, when I tried to do it <sighs> okay uh, something i didn't notice i didn't understand was why david davis said we do most of our trade with taiwan now if i'm being kind to him maybe he's talking about electronic chips then yeah that's true you know, you don't import a lot of chips from, from the European Union. But they're, they're, they're missing the point here. The point is that you do most of your trade with your neighbors. So when David Davis and other Brexiteers talk about, well, you know, the, the Asian economy is the fastest growing or it's growing constantly, it's growing faster than Europe, it's growing faster than the US or whatever. Yes, but it's far away Really, this is the problem. Look, the U.S. does most of its trade with Canada and Mexico because it's on its border, because it's close by. The U.K. does most of its trade with European countries. China does most of its trade with countries around it. China is a, a different kettle of fish, but most countries do most of their trade with their neighbors. So when David Davis and Brexiteers talk about, well, we need to tap into the Chinese market, we have to tap into the U.S., the U.K. already trades with China and the U.S. 
but most of its trade is with its neighbours. Why do Brexiteers have this problem? Why are they against more trade with Europe? It's like they, they, they honestly believe, or some of them honestly believe, others maybe dishonestly believe, or want you to believe, that it's possible to replace trade with Europe with Asia or, or the US. For what reason? Well, because we don't like Europe. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I can come up with as, a, as an actual answer. We don't like Europe. Let's trade with Asia and the US. Or if I'm being extra kind, they'll say, well, we need to trade with Asia and the US because uh, they're faster growing economies or they're, they're, their import exports are increasing faster than Europe. But once again, you trade mostly with your neighbors. Now, when it comes to tariffs and barriers, if the UK wants to be a player, it needs to be part of a bigger block. That's not me talking, that's the trade experts talking. The UK can't be the 51st state, unless it really wants that. It can't become part of China. So the only other option on the table is rejoining the European Union. Now, David Davis says, well, we couldn't do these things back in the 1990s. The 1990s was over 30 years ago. So are you talking about politics today or politics 30 years ago? The European Union has changed a lot. The Commission has changed a lot. The way it deals with trade has changed. You can say that it's stuck in the past, okay, but if the UK wants to change things, it needs to join and change things. It can't change things on the outside. And if there are barriers being put up between China and the US, the US and China, Europe and the US, Europe and, uh, and China, then it makes sense to be part of that. Otherwise, you're being left outside and you're going to suffer the consequences. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.